Michael Phelps, you broke my heart. I want your own tune made out on national media. Brian Lochte, you really pulled a Quincy there. You need to take it back. Anyway, let's go. Time now for Adventures in L O L. What's up, Josh? How you doing, huh? Hey, uh. <laughs> What is it? Week 72? 72. Whatever week this is, I had a good week. Um, Quincy, I'll tell you what week it is coming up. I don't pay attention to that crap. One scares. Anyways, I had a good week, man. Uh, I hope that the scale says it too. I feel like I've lost a few pounds. I'm going to be highly upset if it says like one. And that's not a joke. Anyways, F you everybody. Hey, it's week 123 out of the Moran Brothers. Getting back at it. This is Josh Moran and his way in. It's a fondling frenzy with Josh Moran. All right, last week Josh was 231. He was on a straight and narrow as a side shot. And let's get in there for the weigh-in. Moments before the weigh-in, what's going on in your mind? Battery's dead. What the hell? Okay. Cool. Ooh, big one. I'm cool with that. He's back to the full spot. Way to go, dog. I'm cool Peace. with that. Go. It's week 123, solo cam for the Q, dog. I'm looking at you, man. I'm looking at you. Cut that mess. Good week on my nutrition. Good week. I got in uh, three spots of cardio, four days of lifting. Um, feeling good. Glad I was able to do it. It was a tough week to get through. But uh, I managed, so I'm looking forward to getting on the scale and, uh, and seeing what, uh, what benefits I get from taking care of business. Because that's what we do. Looking for things to do. All right, y'all. Much love to my peeps out there. Thank you guys for all your support. And hopefully one day I'll be able to get these videos loaded again. Thanks, Time Warner Cable. Week 125. Once he's going for the weigh in. Epic fail. Why is my hand shaking? I don't know. Why I think it's because I finally lost weight. It's a good feeling. <laughs> Let's see what Quincy lost this week. I do hope. You, you honestly, have, I kind of hope it's not four pounds. Do you have this? Last week? What was your last week? 246. Two pounds. You lost two pounds. 244. So that's a total of three. I'm in the lead, baby. Three, two. I'm all aboard. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to week 125 of the Moran Brothers. I'm here with a large microphone. Standing next to Josh Duran. Guys, what's up? It is the Moran Brothers. We are back in black Great. Uh, for the week 125, and my gosh, what a roller coaster it has been. Josh, it's kind of weird because to me, weight loss has a certain ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. It doesn't seem to be consistent all the time. It's not that the weight loss isn't consistent, it's that your motivation isn't consistent. It That's is what goes in and out. Because if you can keep it the whole time, you can always, you can always lose the weight. Could you say that in the microphone? I already did. It's a big one. It should have. It's stupid. It's a freaking tennis racket. That's a lot of racket. <laughs> you know, Josh, I really, really, over the past two weeks, I failed miserably, as the scale will tell everybody. Um, I fell. You know, I didn't think getting prepared for this surgery was going to have such a big effect on me, but boy, 
it really whipped my butt. You, you, so you didn't struggle any before the surgery? Like before you got nervous? It was approximately two weeks before that, a couple weeks before that, I was, I was having some struggling issues as well. You fell off track, point blank. I would say I fell. I didn't fall off track. Here's the track. And I was like, I'm like, going to do it. And I just, I jumped off track. <laughs> I jumped right off track. And it, it happened real slow. And then it got real shaky. And then, no, boom. what happens is you think, you think, well, I can, I can take a couple days off or whatever. It ain't going to kill me. It'd be easy to get back on track. It's easy. Hell no, it ain't. It's not it easy. took me damn near two months. Two months. More than that almost. Yeah, that's trepidatious. It's 30 pounds or more afterwards. But I'm back. You are back. I'm good. I'm going to congratulate you on being back. Place right now. Congratulations on being back. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's a weird thing that goes through your mind when you struggle. And, uh, you know, I usually d didn't give my self a place to struggle. Uh, I resisted it. I seem to have more success when I kind of resisted the struggle as opposed to giving into it a few times a week. But the best advice I can give myself and looking at what Josh has been able to do after he, uh, you know, kind of jumped off the wagon himself is you just got to look at where you are. You got to get back into it. And, uh, you know, at one point I was 11 pounds away from my goal. And I turned upside down, upside down and now I am 40... Two pounds away from my goal. Dude, I was three pounds away from my goal, and now I'm 30 pounds away from my goal. I was 40 pounds away from it, a little less. But, I don't know, I think one of the big things for me was all those new clothes I bought starting to get a little tight. I said, I said, I'm losing this weight again. Or it's kind of like when you lose all the weight the first time and you experience all the new things that you can do at first. And you sort of take it for granted after it's been there for a while. That's true. And then after you fall off track and you gain a bunch of weight, a few of those things are slipping away. And you realize how hard you had to work to get there. So you're like, you've got to put yourself back in that spot. So I think what the thing is, is you have to learn how not to lose your edge. And when you lose it, you have to be called out on it. If and they, when you're called out on it, you have to be willing to, to fight to get it back. Anybody out there can... Send me an email or text telling me how to keep the edge. I would appreciate it. Actually, I would say by this time next year, we should come out with a book called The Moran Brothers, 20 Ways to Keep Your Edge. What up, peeps? Quincy, what week is this? This is week 124. Wait, are you sure? I don't know. I thought it's been two weeks. I thought it was like, hey, y'all, how y'all like the beard? Give me some feedback for all those seven people that watch this. I want to know. 175 last 175, check that out. Anyways, these last two weeks for me have been really good. I, uh, last week I knew we didn't have a way in, but I still did good. Until, uh, well, Saturday night I didn't. Hold on, But, here's the deal. I feel like I'm back on track. So, um, it feels really good. I forgot how hard it was and how much willpower you had to have. And after seeing how much hard, how much harder I'm having to work to get this weight that I gained back back off, uh, I don't want to do this crap again. Roll Tide. Next week is practice. Peace out. Go Lakers. Steve Nash. Raiders too. What about them? Um, go. Michael Phelps got beat. He looked slow last night. And I hate Ryan Lochte. He's a bitch. It is the week 125 way in for the Moran brothers. I'm more nervous when I when I do everything I can than when I don't. This is not to be mistaken with the week 124. All right, Josh, de-shirt yourself. Let's get a side view. Uh-oh. Your boobs are out farther than your belly. This is going to be a good week. <laughs> no. Last week, Josh was 227. I'll be happy with Four or five. Four pounds, man. This, this week, Josh Moran weighs in at a tender. Come on, man. That's it. Four pounds. Four pounds. Hey. Guess I'm not happy with it. You're not? I thought I would be, but no, I'm not. 
I'm not happy with that. Your beard looks better on video than it does in person. That's a good thing. Oh, it adds 20 pounds. Damn, dude. To your beard. It's the week 125 solo cam for the Q Dog. And let me just say this. OMG! Exclamation point. No LOL. It's not happening. Uh, well, Tuesday of this uh, past week, I had my lap band extracted. It was a successful surgery. But boy, leading up to that, I really let myself go. I let my nerves get the best of me, and I fell apart like Josh in the middle of a proposal. It went ugly, and it was not pretty at all. So I know what is about to happen on the scale. I have not pre-weighed myself as Josh regularly does before he gave me the scale to keep at my house. But I know it's going to be ugly. The thing I have to uh, keep my mind on is that it's very important to face reality and keep moving. I struggled terribly, like Michael Phelps training for these Olympics. No, I'm mad. And uh, we'll see what happens here. I don't know what else to say. It's been a minute. I'm out. Much love to my peeps over the Olympics. Phelps, I'm saying I'm talking crap about you, but it really just breaks my heart that you didn't slay him. I don't know what to think. It's like every year Alabama doesn't win the championship. It just shocks me. Every year. Q Dog out. They gone. Week 125. I wanted to lose more than that. It's a lot of weight, dude. Yeah, but still, I wanted to be in the teens. I want to be by 210 before September 2nd. Side shot. 210, dude. That's what I want. Me too. And I don't see if it's going to happen. That's still 13 pounds. I guess I can do that probably. 252. Mm. Probably not as bad as you thought it was going to be.